To no one's surprise, Ghibli Studios has its fair amount of more unconventional movies, and The Cat Returns is definitely not an exception. The Cat Returns, a movie directed by Hiro Yoko Morita in 2002, is about Haru, who can communicate with cats. After saving the cat prince, she is invited to the kingdom and unknowingly accepts his hand in marriage, and before realizing it, she turns into a cat upon entering the kingdom. Even though this movie has its fair amount of laughable and comic scenes, the story is still left confusing, and this leaves the question whether Haru was seeing the truth or not. A lot of fans have submitted their theories, and one of them was whether everything Haru saw was a hallucination. And in this video, we are going to be digging deeper and finding out whether that is true. In order to confirm this theory, we have to see what a hallucination even is. And by definition, by Cleveland Clinic, a hallucination is a false perception of objects and events involving your senses sight, sound, smell, touch and taste. Hallucinations seem real, but they're not. Chemical reactions and or abnormalities in your brain cause hallucinations. The problem is to identify what type of hallucination this is, as Haru suffers from all of them. Sound hallucinations, sight, touch, smell, taste. Every single one of them have an impact on Haru. So after digging deeper, we found a diagnosis more matching to Haru's symptoms. Psychosis. By definition, by the NHS, psychosis is when people lose some contact with reality. This might involve seeing or hearing things that other people cannot see or hear, hallucinations and believing things that are not actually true, delusions. It may also involve confused thinking and speaking. Now to confirm our theory, we have to take a look at Haru's behavior and actions throughout the movie. After Haru saves the cat, he stands up and thanks her in a very humanly fashion. Something worth mentioning is that no one other than Haru actually witnesses him. This is already evidence for auditory and visual hallucinations, as Haru is the only one being able to talk to the cat. Another thing worth mentioning is that her mother also confirms her connection with cats, as Haru always had something special with cats, even at a young age. Whether these are hallucinations or not is still unknown. This next scene is also confusing, as Haru is woken up by hundreds of cats, as well as the Cat King who gives her a scroll as an invitation to their kingdom. Points worth mentioning are the tactile as well as presence hallucinations, both being confirmed as Haru accepts the scroll. Now this next scene is a bit more annoying as it is a point against the hallucination theory, however we'll be coming back to it later. After following Muta, Haru visits a town to meet Baron, who works in the cat burrow. Something definitely worth mentioning is the fact that she is the only human in this town, as every other species is a cat or a crow, all walking on their hind legs. Skipping a few scenes, our protagonist visits the cat kingdom, turning into a cat the longer she stays. And this is extremely difficult to depict as there is no type of hallucination where a person sees themselves in a different form. So we came up with the conclusion that she has somatic delusional disorder. People with this type of delusional disorder believe that they have a physical issue or medical problem. And this furthermore confirms our theory about psychosis, a mixture between hallucinations and delusion. Now, skipping a few scenes after falling from the sky, being rescued by two cats and a flock of crows, slowly gliding down the top of the school, where the three have their final conversation, while of course no one acknowledges their presence, Haru finally admits that she has a crush on the cat Baron, which is just weird. Like, what the fu- Thankfully, Baron rejects her, so... It is clear that her hallucinations are actually more logical than herself. Finally, falling in love in your own hallucination 
makes you schizophrenic. So, let's build a conclusion here. So we've concluded that Haru has been diagnosed with psychosis, connected to hallucinations through the cat world, delusions by falling in love in those hallucinations, and schizophrenia due to her encounters. Something important to mention is that the cause of psychosis remains unknown. However, there are a list of common causes such as misuse of alcohol and drugs, which is highly unlikely, sleep deprivation, a possibility, or inherited biologically, which would also be possible. However, we still have far too less information about her mother or father, so our conclusion still stays a bit open. So, to answer the question, does Haru have hallucinations? The answer is... Now hold on a second, we still forgot that one stupid scene. That scene where Haru was chased by 50 cats while going to school. The main problem is that people acknowledge them, the cats. So, does that mean the cats are real? Does that mean that her hallucinations are not hallucinations? Unfortunately, this scene does counter the argument pretty well, and therefore, the hallucination theory may turn out to be a bust. Now, whether this theory is valid, or if that one scene actually breaks everything apart is up to you, and if you have any theories or any other conclusions, do let me know in the comments. Otherwise, I hope you enjoyed this video, and I will see you all next time. Bad shit crazy.